OK, so for this problem, um, we're going to want to look into obviously factoring it, right? It says solve. We know we have it to the second power, so you want to factor it. So we look at this and we say, all right, I can do 4x times x equals 0. And I'd obviously, to get this to be minus 1, 1 has to be positive, 1 has to be negative. However, when I try to get my middle terms, guess what? It's not going to work it, right? So let's try maybe factoring it with 2x times 2x. Well, we come into another problem with this, because when I try to buy 4x times x and 2x times 2x, again, I can't do it, right? So what are we going to do? When we can't factor something, we still need to solve, what can we do? We can do quadratic form, which I already did an example on, right? So let's take quadratic formula out of the solution. What else could we do? You guys remember, there's one more solution we worked on on that test. Say it, Japonica. Completing the square, right? So let's go back and see if we can remember the process. So by solving by completing the square, first thing we need to do is isolate our variables. So we get the 1 to the other side. Now I have 4x squared minus 4x equals 1. But remember, we can't complete the square when we have a term in front of our quadratic um, variable. So we need to factor out a 4. Right Now that we have this out, now what we do is we take, remember, b divided by 2 and square it. So that's going to equal negative 1 divided by 2 squared, which equals a positive 1 fourth. So remember, now we take that value and we add it onto both sides. Right? So we add the 1 fourth onto both sides. But remember, since I multiplied a 4, since I'm multiplying this 1 fourth by a 4, I need to multiply by 4 over here. So you got to make sure you add, multiply that 4, because that's to keep your equations equal. Now, I factor this. Since it's a perfect square trinomial, I know I can factor it to a binomial squared, which is 4x minus 1 half squared equals 2. Because 1 fourth times 4 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Now, I solve this by isol you know, even using my inverse operations. Sorry. So I'll also divide by 4. So I get x minus 1 half squared equals 2 over 4. I'm not going to simplify that just because I know that I'm going to now have to, now I have to undo the square root, right? You could simplify it, but I just, you could simplify that to 1 half, but it's going to give you an extra step at the end, which I just don't want to have to go through because it's extra. If I leave it as 2 over 4, I know I can just take the square root of 2 right here, right? So therefore, this goes into x minus 1 half equals plus or minus the square root of 2 over 2. How did I get that? Square root of 2 over 4 equals the square root of 2 over the square root of 4, which equals the square root of 2 over 2. Okay, That's how I got that. You remember, you can break that up into top and bottom. So therefore, now, I just add 1 half to the other side. So therefore, I get x equals a positive 1 half plus or minus the square root of 2 over 2. So let's go and look at this. Now, we could have, if we would have done the quadratic formula, ladies and gentlemen, we would have got the exact same answer. All right, But we couldn't obviously factor and get this answer. So we look at this, though, and we say, all right, what are our solutions? Real, rational, real, irrational, or complex? And we have two. Irrational. They're irrational because you cannot evaluate for the exact value of square root of 2. Okay? That's it. Cool.